Ciao and welcome to this new video. My name is Davide, I'm an Italian cook and today I'm here for Small Giants to prepare some delicious recipes with their brand new superfood. Cricket flour. We created six recipes to show you how tasty and nutritious edible insects are. The recipe I want to show you today is pretty easy and I'm sure you can make it at home without nothing special than a pan and some basic ingredients to create this piadina of the future. And so today we are making piadina with hummus. Mix the flowers together carefully, then add the oil, salt and water and start kneading until you get a smooth dough. Cricket flour is composed of almost 70% of proteins, which means it absorbs very little water. So remember to add the water little by little and your goal is to have a soft and smooth dough. Cover with a wet towel and leave it to rest for 10-15 minutes. If you don't have it, now we make tiny. Preheat a pan over medium heat and toast the sesame until golden brown. Are you wondering why should you eat insects? Insects are sustainable superstars. They are able to optimize what they eat, turning feed into mass up to six times better than other animal species. And considering all the scraps produced during the meat supply chain, we can say that we can produce proteins 12 times more efficiently with this innovative superfood. When the sesame is toasted, Place it in a blender and blend until you have a smooth paste. This is called tahini. If you are struggling, try adding some hot water. Remove the tahini from the blender and replace it with the chickpeas and lemon juice. There's no need to clean the blender. Blend the chickpeas and gradually add the other ingredients. Garlic, olive oil, tahini and water. Are we talking about water? Do you know that to produce 1 gram of protein from beef, you need 112 liters of water? While to produce 1 gram of protein from cricket, you need only 23 liters. And if you consider all the proteins every one of us consume during a year, this could save thousands of liters of water. When you're done, divide the piadina dough into 2-3 pieces and roll it out with a rolling pin forming a circle. In a pan cook it on both sides and they are fast ready. Let it cool and serve your fabulous perina stuffed with 2 tablespoons of hummus and garnish with some parsley, fresh tomatoes and onion to taste. And here we are with this cricket perina. We changed this traditional food into a food for future, rich in sustainable proteins. 